Hey, M Missouri Nation, Jason Shepard here. Today, talking about a topic that honestly used to make me super nervous, and that is the idea of flying at night. Still to this day, kind of makes me a little bit nervous as well, always over-preparing. So I'm always looking for help, but good pilot's always learning, right? So I went into the M0A Nation Facebook group. By the way, if you want some light in your life and more airplanes in your life, and you're on Facebook, please, please request to join the M0A Nation Facebook group. It will get rid of all this craziness on your, on your timeline and fill it with airplanes. But I posted a night flying video there and said, listen, what are some things you all do before a night flight? And here's what some of you had to say. Tom Murphy is one of our phenomenal lifetime members. Tom said, green and red flashlights have oxygen available if over 5,000 feet. I like this part. Have a credit card <laughs> because you never know when you're going to need gas, hotel, oh, and add a blanket in there as well. Our chief technical writer, Meg Godlewski, she said, carry at least three flashlights with green lenses. We'll come back to that in a second. Position one so it shines on the panel. Recommend a military issue L-shaped design and fresh batteries. Wear a fishing vest with extra batteries in it. Tie a string to the checklist. I like this. Tie a string to the checklist and to the kneeboard or belt loop so if you drop it, there is no drama. What a cool idea with that because you drop something in the cockpit, you're going around, you're kind of looking for everything. We're going to come back to the green light here in just a second. Another great comment that came in was from Shannon Williams. Be mindful of what destroys your night vision. That goes back to the basics of our pre-flight. How are we pre-flight in this aircraft? Slowing that process down and being mindful of other aircraft or, or taxiway lights or ramp lights that could destroy our night vision. Some more great comments came in from another lifetime member, John Rich. John said, I tried to use dim red lighting at night. Now we're talking about red lighting. During pre-flight and in the cockpit uh, using a handheld or head-mounted flashlight. Wayman, one of our phenomenal flight school partners, said fly on moonlit nights and bring an extra flashlight. Uh, Wayman, I am with you on that one because if you've ever flown that black on black, um, you know, that moonless night, you might as well be IFR in some of those cases, although it could be clear in a million, black on black, um, you think back to like JFK Jr. type stuff. One more here uh, from Daniel Skidell said, great question, Jason. I'm prepping for my instrument check ride, but nothing prepared me uh, for the sight of flying VFR off the coast, like we just mentioned. It was surreal, a literal black hole. I understand how JFK Jr. met his demise. My advice? Trust your instruments. Ironically, we're just talking about that JFK Jr. accent with that. So M0A Nation, thank you for some of your great feedback there. And I'll just share some things that I teach as well. When I'm flying at night, I'm getting to the airport sooner than I need to, simply because my pre-flight should take longer. It's easier to miss things at night, and now, at least as of filming this, it's winter time. So it is dark, it is cold. All you wanna do is get in that airplane and just get on there and turn the cabin heat on, right? Cold and night, or just even one or the other. That's when you truly have to slow down and give the pre-flight even more attention than you normally would, say, on an August summer day where it's beautiful, right? Then you just want to hop in the plane to cool off a little bit. But you want to slow down your pre-flight. You do want to fly with some sort of flashlight. Really, we, don't want, we know we don't want to fly with white. That destroys our night vision. But there's a lot of data out there that actually says red lights aren't exactly the best for night vision. So Meg was talking earlier about some green lights as well. I'll be sharing more uh, in the coming weeks on some of the science behind, well, which color of light is actually best? And if you know some of that science, man, I love learning that. So let me know in the comment section below this video as well. When flying at night, well, I treat my approaches exactly the same. In fact, there's an FAA knowledge test question for private pilot and commercial pilot that says, uh, a landing at night should be made, and they give you your ABCs, exactly as an approach during the day is the, is the answer. And it makes sense when you say it, but the tendency is to come in high and come in fast. Because when you're flying, you've got blackness underneath you here. Well, you don't know is that the tree's gonna jump up and get me is what you think, right? Just because you can't see it. Trust the Vassies, trust the Pappies, and most importantly, like Daniel said, trust your instruments as well. You know, a definition of IFR flying is flying without reference to a horizon. On some of those moonless nights, you may be flying 
without reference to a horizon. So M Missouri Nation, first off, if you're not in the M Missouri Nation Facebook group, please go find that. I'll make sure the team includes some links in this video description as well for you. And then leave me some comments down below. What are some things that you do above and beyond when flying at night as well? I can't wait to read your comments on YouTube, on Facebook, on mzeroi.com. Have a blessed, amazing, outstanding day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.